Welcome back. We're going around the ship, doing the rounds, and getting some lovely little bonding scenes out the way. So, Elisa? Elisa? Elise, are you two having some kind of meeting? No, I was just giving her some tips about the latest OS. But the one that was also used in the Macabre. Well, I wanted to be able to operate the terminal more efficiently. So I was asking her for advice on how best to use the developer mode, which should let me create custom environments. It's great seeing you two so fired up. Just try not to overwork yourselves. I'm still feeling fine. How about you, Elisa? Uh, do you need a break? We may have had the trial this morning, but I'm good, uh, doing good. Don't worry about me. Besides, I'm not the only one who's a little emotionally fraught right now. All this did was help me gather my resolve. I think I'd go crazy if I just had to stay cooped up in my room the whole time anyway. Alright, so long as you're sure. Thank you so much for everything, Elisa. I'm really surprised by how fast Elise and Princess Elfin took to the terminal. And Toa, well, she goes without saying. I don't think we could hope for better support. Elisa is a really good teacher. She's helped me out a lot. I'm going to do everything I can to meet your expectations. Mm, very well. Right, Instructor Sarah. Oh, you're on your phone, your Arcus there. Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks. I'll see you later, Governor Regnitz. Governor Regnitz? Huh? Oh, Green. Looks like you caught me at a pretty awkward time. But there's nothing going on between Machis' dad and me. Though he does have that cool and gruff thing going on. <laughs> I didn't even consider that. But good to know, I guess. You do protest too much. Are you heading off somewhere then? Yeah, I'm off. Uh, headed off to a certain grave. You're going there again. Hopefully it works out this time. Is she talking about. Are we going there again? Mind if we go together? <laughs> of course not, Reen. We're off to Ordis, the port city, okay? Seems strange we're going to the exact same location, though. After Sarah and Reen received a certain something from Governor Regnus in Ordis, the uh, port city, uh, they headed to the same spot in Languedoc Canyon they visited last time. Okay. Maybe, maybe destroy that stuff before? Oh. This is the flag from the naval fortress, right? It'll make a fitting tribute for Colonel Valacine. Good thing Governor Regnitz kept it aside for us. There may be Black Pearl Magress here, but apparently it's not interfering with the spirit veins. Alright, fair enough. Again, this is this is when uh, like why I hold Falcom to a standard, by the way, when I point out like they haven't explained that, they haven't done this. Why haven't we gone there? I just want stuff to be written away or explained. That's how Falcom normally do things. So it's like I'm holding Falcom to Falcom's standards. So when I'm like in Act 2 being like it's a shame we didn't go here, it's a shame we didn't go there, and they've not properly explained why we can't go there and stuff like that. It's it's that idea of... It's Falcom's standard that I'm holding them to. So here is an example where it's like, I'm there like, there's Black Plum Grass. That's a problem. You need to sort... Explained. Just explained away. Doesn't need to be the best explanation, just... Explained. Maybe Black Plum Grass here, but apparently it's not interfering with the Spirit of Veins. That's good to know. You want to help, Reen? Sure. That's a lovely flag. My eyes, no, it burns. Oh, the cleansing flame. Looks like you've found the way forward. Who said that? Is that a coast? It must, must be the wind. <laughs> Curse and stuff. And we got to put some old ghosts to rest, too. Thank you for that. Be careful out there. I'd hate for you to die before things really start getting interesting. Same to you guys. Next time we meet, it'll probably be as enemies, though. 
All right, Rain, bring the bring the mood down. Sarah, about what happened before. You know what? I think I was just scaring things. Maybe my dad really did drop in to see how his beloved daughter is doing these days. If he did, you know I'm into a totally different kind of guy now. Huh? Come on, for real? You really are hopelessly dense sometimes, you know that. What do you mean? Unless someone else snatches you up soon, I won't count myself out of the running just yet. There's a race? Where are we racing? Oh, that's short and sweet. No, oh, oh. All right then. You're making another transmission, Instructor. Yeah, I just sent a, out a report to Governor Ragnitz along with my thanks. You know, I really appreciate you coming with me to visit my dad's grave, right? No need to thank me. I've hardly done anything at all. Nay, yeah, still. It really does mean a lot. I have to say, this is a nice way to end things. But for me and for everyone up north. If there's anything I could do to help, you guys have my undivided attention. Thanks, Instructor. I know that we can always depend on you. Still, I remember some talk about preparing for the worst earlier? Guess that doesn't really matter, though. I just have to man up and face whatever lies in front of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very well. Alright, so, next floor. Where are we? I like using the elevator. The elevator! The lift. Took its time. Um, hmm. We got around. I'm just, again, just curious. Oh, I'm kind of interested to see Laura's. Because it's like after the revelation, like with her father and stuff like that, I wonder how she's doing. Let's start over here, though, with like the blue star and stuff. It's just so strange seeing you two together like this. Tita, Randy, is everything okay? Yeah, we're just working out some stuff between the Laburn and Crossbell teams. Stan and the others are gathering intel in East Erebonia right now. Lloyd and the SSFs have Crossbell covered. But the Imperial Army has been tapping their communications. So we're using the Courageous 2 systems to help strengthen the encryption. I see. Thanks to that comms artifact, we've got a bit more wiggle room. But even then, we've only got so much range. Especially since it seems the Prince is trying to keep in contact with Calvert. Everything we can do feels so... constricted. Right down to our comms. Give us time, we'll work something out. Supporting you guys is our top priority right now. If you're going to the surface, let us know. And we'll help however we can. Thanks. Will do. Damn, Class 7 sure is busy even though it's just morning. And if you're headed to the surface, I'd be glad to help out. Feel free to ask any time. Alright. Oh, an unrelated note. You're also into pump party, right? I am. Do you play too, Tita? <laughs> I do. Ren got a little obsessed, so I got roped into it. Two. Uh, do you want to exchange account IDs? Definitely. You can now play Pom Pom Party against Tita. Making immediate and full use of the anti-hacking device that Mom and Grandpa developed. Not quite put into words, but thinking about the support everyone gives me, I find myself feeling stronger and more capable. Hmm. Interesting. Nice if we could just see a capel around. That was the name of the computer in um Sky, wasn't it? If I remember correctly. Right, anyway. Marcus 2. Pom 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 party. Tita. Alright, let's go with the speed idea. Right, rather as opposed to try and build stuff up. Just just try and just get quick matches very quickly. See if that works out better for us. Oh, that was a terrible one. Maybe fix it with that? Just quicky, 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 Should be alright there. A little bit. Oh god. 
No, we wouldn't. Oh, bloody hell. That's a good one there, that's a good one there. That's good. I love two could play in that game, too. Come on, come on. So close, come on. So close there. That was close. Dun, 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 dun. Defense. Ooh, that's worked out very nicely for us. That's so close though before, so close. Like, I feel like, it's like you just got to get that speed at the start very quickly. Like, look how slow they come down at this point. It's like you just got to force the speed and get it right at the start very quickly. Get any, everyone who plays it at the start very quickly. That's how I feel like you're meant to be doing this one. I'm fine with that, I'm fine with that. You can have that for all I care. Right, bring the blues in. Really? Those greens below. Bring the blue. I bring the red. 
Yeah, that blew it. Thank you very much. That went better than I was hoping. There you go. You win. Indeed. Lovely. Whew. Anyway. What are we doing? Laura's. Speak to you two first. Now, what would you use to treat the patient with these symptoms? Let's see. I'd start by giving them the antivenom and then administer something to help stabilize their blood pressure. Oh, but wait a second. Some of these natural remedies can have side effects, so... I see now, this is one of those cases where you have to get the balance between the different drugs just right. Better perceptive, well done. Medicines can have adverse reactions with what drug the patient's already taking. It's important to remember that. I will, absolutely. I see you're getting lessons from Linda, Gary. Instructor Re- yes. Well, a few. Just here and there when we're both free. I won't be able to hold proper classes again for a while. But I really do want Kyrie to learn about medicine in depth. It's a good idea. You never know when knowledge like this might come in handy. Good luck, both of you. Thank you. It certainly helps to have such an eager pupil. Getting into medicine isn't easy. There's so much to learn. I think Kyrie's got what it takes, though. You'll need hands-on experience for some of it. So I'd like to teach him what I can, little by little. Let me know what you need. Everything. Come again any time. I will. Linda is helping me out a lot. I've learned so much from her. I might not be able to do much for her now, but I'll keep training so that I can eventually lessen her burdens. Did you need something? I mean, you've got pretty Come much again. the same stuff. Laura, next to two Calvert spies. Hmm. That should just about do it for now. What are you up to, Laura? Irene, I was just restocking the ointments, among a few of our other supplies. And that said, there are actually a few things I'd like to take care of before we head to the sanctuary, if possible. But that is to say, I'd like to head down to Brioni Island to finish up my training. Huh? I see. You're preparing for a possible showdown with the Viscount, then. There we go. That's right. I'll be sure to be waiting for us. As such. It's my duty as successor to the Arsade name to improve myself as much as I humanly can. And now may be the only opportunity I'll have to do so. Laura. You needn't worry so much over me, Irene. All that matters is that my father made it through alive, no matter what state he may find himself in. When the time comes, face him. I'll prove I can rise to the challenge. I swear it. On the blade he himself bequeathed upon me. So that's why she's finishing up her training. Probably something I should be thinking about myself. Yes, of course. Would it be okay if I accompanied you, Laura? We'll need all the training we can muster if we hope to get through this coming rivalry, after all. I see. I don't mind, of course. Having you there should make things no trouble at all. Let's be off, then. Let's. Irene and Laura took Valimar, the Ashen Knight! Briony Island. They decided to finish the training with a no holds barred sparring match. They set off to find an appropriate spot. Hopefully, it doesn't rain because of the curse. Again. Ah, oh, rain's coming! Re? What's the matter? This presence. It's. It's gonna be sleet later. Oh. It isn't possible. It's the same as what happened with Roselia? Oh. Hello. Look. Yeah, I know, I, I know. That's a thing we found in the old schoolhouse. Lower Erebonius. How did I end up here? Just what a number of them appeared in a Heimdall alongside the growl. It's huge. How could something like that have been there without us? It can't be. 
Hmm. Could it be due to the Septarian shell embedded here? I think so. It's a fragment of something from before the Great One was formed. Everything that's going on with the Operation Jormungand could have set off a reaction between the shell and the spirit veins. But the... Where's it going? Looks like it's heading for Ordis, the port city. Don't like the ocean. What insane destructive power. When it's something like that reach Ordis, the port city. Maybe it's because we're in this subspace, but I can't sense Valimar, the Ashen Knight. The Elkis 2 isn't connecting either. We won't be able to get in touch with the others for a while. We'll just have to stop it ourselves then. Won't be easy, but so long as I'm with you, I know we stand a chance. Together, we'll find a way. You're right. Let's go, Laura. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? Ow! The battle against the giant below Adeponius raged long and hard. Reen and Laura made strategic use of the terrain and gradually pushed the Goliath back. Looking closely in sync, they continued their onslaught until finally... Termination slash dusk! Now taste the wrath of the Arsades. Radiant Phoenix Blade! I'm just gonna take it. Take a quick nap. Just, just give me a moment. Did look have that look of like just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rest here. Just just rest here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Looks like that did the trick. Nice job, Laura. I knew you had it in you. Your technique just now was every bit as good as the Viscounts. Better even. You think so? Didn't feel quite right to me. Maybe I really have taken a step closer to my father. <laughs> Laura? Sorry, it's just so bizarre to see how far we've come. A single lower Erebonius was almost more than the entirety of Class 7 could handle once. But now, just the two of us can defeat one. I'd never have thought fighting for someone with all your heart would grant this much power. Laura... I will neither run nor hide from my feelings. I love you, Reen. Oh well, I don't know. Not just as a dear friend, or as a fellow swordsman walking the same path, but with my whole heart. Good. That's a sore subject, thank you very much. It's alright. You don't have to give me an answer. This is hardly the time or the place for romance. There are other more important things that demand our attention. You must win the rivalries. They have to surpass my father. To do that, we need to dedicate ourselves to improving our skills. You're right. I'll be counting on you from here on. Mm, I'd, I'd say it wasn't as good as I hoped. In terms of bonding events. I wanted more to do with how she was feeling in response to the Viscount being alive and where she's going to forge her path and stuff like that. It's like, it, there was a little bit of it, but it's like... I'd have liked more in-depth discussion about it. Rin and Laura retreated to the lodge to patch up their wounds. After a short rest, they returned to the ship together. A special moment. Hey, man. So where was Laura? Just... I don't know where she was. She's moved. What? Where did she go? Where am I? I'm trying to remember where I, where I am. I said... I haven't been in there, I've been in here. What? Everything feels weird. Green, perfect timing. Help me out here. Trying to convince Dorothy to take a break from pairing up guys and write about girls for a change. I told you, Angelica, I have firm rules when it comes to what I write about. The request violates the most sacred one. I don't really have a dog in this fight. But what about crap? Uh, but if Dorothy really doesn't want to do it, there's no reason she... Should have to, right? Fair point, Green. But I wouldn't want to see a writer of Dorothy's caliber squander her potential. Girl has the chops for this. Wait, Angelica, have you read my books? 
Of course, they're amazing. Which is why I think it's criminal for you to limit your stories to just one type of attraction. But now let's start with a long talk about just how appealing women can be, hmm? But, but I, uh... How about this? Not even Dorothy's a match for Angelica. I'm not budging until you understand all the delights women who love women can offer. While I understand the aesthetic value, I really must insist. No, what are they? Very well, no, no copy of Woo Baby around. It really is depressing that the Woo Babies have disappeared, it really is. So where did Laura go? She's in... The shop. Where's the shop? I want to speak to Laura. Nine Valley. There you are. Oh, here you are, Laura. Nice work back there. Thank you. I rested up enough to prepare to undergo the trial at the sanctuary. I'll be counting on you again, then. <laughs> I've expected love could make a person so strong. I feel unstoppable now. Like, even surpassing my father is a goal within my reach. That's great. I don't intend on slowing down, either. Okay, let's continue to work toward our goals, really. Let's. Right, so who we got next? So we're done up there. So let's see about... Maybe trying to get your second blade, Kurt? Jump it on. Kurt, what's that you're reading? Oh, instructor, it's a letter from Mueller, actually. He gave it to me before he left. Lieutenant Colonel, huh? Give you a letter even though you were face to face. That's right. I had it rather curious myself. I only just started to read it, but... That's more of a family matter than anything. Really. Uh, no need to concern yourself over it. Help me to take care of it when I have the time. That said, preparing for the sanctuary should be our foremost priority at the moment. Huh? Lieutenant Colonel Mueller wouldn't write a letter like this for no reason. Plus, I am pretty curious, I'll admit. Yes. Yeah, I'd say you have plenty of time, Kurt. After all, it's my own people's family matters we're talking here, not some strangers. But I can help in any way. All you have to do is let me know. I'll be there for you as best I can. Instructor. Thank you so much. I know I can be somewhat of a burden at times. Oh, stop it. There's a certain place I'd like to go. They get you to accompany me. I hope we do get another blade. I like things to be in pairs. Reen and Kurt set off together. Along the way, they talked about the contents of the letter. Don't see any military police here. Thought this was supposed to have been converted to a conscription office. Suppose they left everything empty here when their forces were diverted to the Heimdall area. Ah, there you are, Kurt. Uh huh. I've been waiting here for day uh minutes. Hello, Mueller. We meet again, Lieutenant Colonel. Ah, yes. This reunion came earlier than expected. I am glad to see you, nonetheless, Reen. I apologize for calling you away for this. I'm sure you have more pressing matters to attend to. I'm assuming the blade is in there. It's no problem. I'm here to lend Kurt my full support as his instructor. And if that wasn't enough of a reason, you did go out of your way to delegate me as his partner. I still can't quite believe it. Did you really find Roland's other twin sword? Yay! It's true. Well, would you look at that. Roland's sword, clear as day. Found the left-handed one in Raquel. Now you've recovered its pair. We stumbled upon it. I were readying the courageous too. As if something led us to it. We had no idea you already had its pair. It must be fate. The choice of Steinsgate. You know what I summoned you here for, don't you, Kurt? Indeed, I read the letter. You want me to have Roland's twin swords under one condition. Instructor Reen and I go through with this trial of yours. Forgive me for asking, but why am I included in this? This seems to be a Vander family business. I'm not even trading in this school of swordsmanship. I understand how arbitrary all of this must feel to you, but it wasn't my decision to make. The moment I grasped this sword, I sensed Roland's will. 
The two of you stand before me as the successor of Roland's jewel blade style and the inheritor of the Ashen Knight. Moreover, your relationship's not unlike Roland and Emperor Dracul's, who cut their way through the War of the Lions side by side. Roland died before his time. I refuse to stand by and let history repeat itself with you, Kurt. That's why you must prove yourself more able than him. And you, Ashen Chevalier, show me you've surpassed Dracul's himself. Dracul? Are you seeing this aura coming off the swords? So we've got to defeat both you and the Roland in spirit. But, Kurt, are you... Are you seeing this? Anyway, I accept the challenge. I have long looked up to you and my ancestor of legend. If it's a test of metal you want, I'll face you both head on. Well said, Kurt. If it's the two of us, I'm sure we can accomplish this much. Let's do it, Kurt. Oh, I was hoping it was going to be an actual battle with him. And so their first battle began. Mueller, empowered by Roland Spinnet, came at them with an unrelenting assault, attacking with even more power than he showed in his fight outside the Infernal Castle. But Reen and Kurt struck in perfect sync with each other, managing to turn the battle into an even match. And then... Now! The time has come. Huh! And such. Anyway, not too shabby at all. Indeed, well done. Roland's equally impressed by the ability you've demonstrated today. He told me himself. Apparently. You've earned the right to wield his swords, Kurt. Thank you, Mueller. So, how do they look? They fit you perfectly, Kurt. You certainly look the part as Roland's successor. I'm proud of you, Kurt. Encouraging you to join the branch campus was definitely the right choice. It's a lot to hear. I'm well aware I've yet to reach the heights of swordsmanship or experience you, Father, and Roland have. But I've managed to gain so many things nobody else could. Ever could. And I owe it to all the friends I've come to bond with, including Instructor Reen. Couldn't have said it better myself, Kurt. Working together, I know we'll reach even greater heights. Of course. Reen and Kurt bid Mueller farewell, wishing to see him sooner rather than later. They return to the Courageous, Kurt carrying his new swords with undisguised joy and astonishment. Yeah, we, we know how the cosmetics work, because we've done that previously. Even though it took me some messing about to figure it out. Um, where is it? It's not in that event. There we go. There we go. Yes. Lovely. I hardly feel that I am worthy of inheriting Roland's blades. That being said, I know that I've also been able to do things nobody else would in a way only I could do. I'll continue to aim for greater heights with that in mind. Uh, seems like it was the same. Right, so I'm actually going to end this part here. In the next part, we'll go see about speaking to everyone in here. And get an Alfin bonding event. That'll be interesting. So, we'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.